Good afternoon, Steve. Well, the University Place School District says 59-year-old Michael Joseph Bass worked for the school district as a substitute employee, and he did not coach for the district in any capacity. He was let go in 2016 after the district received complaints about Bass's behavior towards several kids. Now he's in custody, and during his arraignment, the judge set bail at $250,000. Court documents go into explicit detail of how Michael Joseph Bass allegedly assaulted multiple children from 2007 to 2016. Bass faces eight counts of child rape and five counts of child molestation. Court documents say Bass would offer alcohol to intoxicate some of his victims before assaulting them. And the assaults would range from oral to penetrative acts that took place over a course of years. So far. Lauren Cochran represents some of the victims who have come forward. Yeah and says Bass would look for kids who were in vulnerable situations. He made himself seem like somebody who could help take on the troubles that a lot of kids have. And in particular, these were kids that needed some sort of guidance. And he happily stepped up into that void. If we want to protect kids. Stephanie Sachs of Rebuilding Hope says Bass's tactics are common among sexual predators. Long before any adult would give this other adult access to this child, the offender is working on grooming those adults to gain their trust, to make them think they're a good person, to make them think they're trustworthy, so that people give access to this person, their kids. Cochran says Bass would threaten his victims to stay silent about the assaults. But he also says since Bass's arrest, others have come forward and are being interviewed by the Pierce County Sheriff's Department. However, Cochran says there is still more to do. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen for these kids and for their folks. So really, that's the next part of the journey. Now, it's important to note that at this point in time, there's no direct evidence that connects Bass's time with the school district with these alleged assaults. And it appears that Bass worked as a youth baseball coach and a martial arts instructor here in Tacoma. Bass's jury trial is scheduled to begin on June 14th, but more charges could be filed if more victims come forward. But for now, we're live in front of the Pierce County Jail. Lionel Donovan, King 5 News. If you or anyone you know has experienced sexual assault, call Rebuilding Hope's 24-hour crisis line at 253-474-7273.